everybody welcome back to my channel I am going to be talking to you about um, a book review it's gonna be just a simple basic my thoughts on this book that I have read and that's pretty much it it's not gonna be like you know a professional book review that you know you see online and all that kind of stuff I like to kind of pop in these book reviews now and again because I love to read. It's part of what I enjoy to do along with beauty. And I figured it's it's one of my ways that I um that I unwind at the end of the day or on my day off to kind of bring myself back to you know, ground zero when it comes to stress levels and all that kind of stuff. So I finished a book recently and I wanted to tell you guys my thoughts on it. It's called Tease by Trisha Paytas. Um, she is a fellow YouTuber on here as well and um, she has a couple books out. This is the first book I've ever read from her. So it's not a long book. It's about, let's see, it's 90 pages. Um, it's not for everybody. <laughs> and when I say it's not for everybody, I say it's rated 18 plus. There's a lot of sexual content in here. There's a lot of, um, adult content. Um, not just sexual, but adult content as well. I was very shocked when I read this. Not shocked, but more like... This is a whole other level of Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey was something that was readable and uh, tolerable that, you know, you can get through. Some people may not be able to handle this because of the explicit content that is in here. So I'm going to read the back of it for you guys just to kind of give you a synopsis of what it's about. And then I'm just going to come out with my full out opinion. So the back of it says, Enter a world where there's one where one girl's twisted sexual fantasies become dark and erotic reality. In her first foray into erotica, best-selling author Trisha Paytas hold nothing back in as she explores the meaning of lust, love, power, and sex in the in the carnal page turner tease. Mary is an ordinary college girl working at a local diner in order to make ends meet. There she meets mysterious Preston, a regular who quickly awakens a desire she never knew existed. Their raunchy new relationship isn't exactly a healthy one. However, as Mary discovers Preston's sexual desires um, run deep and dark. But do Mary's hungers... But do Mary's hungers mirror his own torn between blind desire and terrifying ex episodes of violence mary descends into a world of murder manipulation and kinky fetishes that threaten and to destroy her sanity as she struggles to escape the vice of sexual dominance she both hates and craves mary begins to enjoy the control she holds over others will she ever break free from the cycle of lust and power or will mary discover that in the end a tease is still a tease um yeah so there's a lot of explicit content in here i wouldn't suggest anybody uh, under the age of 18 to read it um it's only 90 pages so this story pretty much gets to the point it doesn't drag on um, it was, I think it was a cute, no, not really cute. I can't even explain cute with this. I think it was a page turner beach read type of book. Um, if you're looking for something more intellectual, this is not it at all. Not it at all. Um, but if you want something more juicy, gossipy, sexy, Fifty Shades of Grey type of scenario, um, but probably a little bit. A little bit more sexual type I guess you could say this is you'll be looking at this um, I got it off of Amazon because that's where her books are sold I will be picking up her other books just to read to see what other um, books that she she's written I know that her other written books are more biographies on her life as a stripper etc 
So I kind of want to read those ones a little more. This is more of a, a fictional, fictional storyline. Um, but yeah, you know, the, the good weather's coming now. People like to be sitting outside reading a book by the beach. If you really want something that's just light and airy, um, to just, you know, page turner for a day at the beach, I would suggest you know, trying this out for you women out there who are into that sort of thing. Um, I, um, I didn't mind it as a, as a beach read. I wouldn't suggest it as something for an intellectual sort of thing, but, um, it wasn't like your usual novels that you read. I'll tell you that much. Um, because it's so short, you kind of, the storyline kind of gets to the point very quick. So there's not, there's not a lot of stretching and, you know, waiting for something to happen. You know, things happen um, right away in this book, which is kind of a good thing because you're getting to the point quicker and, you you know, you read it, it's done, it's over with, you know, you find out what happens in the end. So, I mean, for those of you who kind of, you know, enjoy more of an intellectual read, I wouldn't suggest this. But if you want more of an airy, uh, beachy read to, you know, to take with you for, for the afternoon or for the day at the beach, this would be great to take with you just to kind of get your little gossipy drama type sex in the city all combined in one sort of story. I, I, I know that's probably one of the worst reviews, but... Um, it wasn't it wasn't a bad book to um, to read it was it was one of those type of things where you read the story and you really think about what other people go through in their lives when they are in that lot in that line of business of being a stripper um, in the sex industry and that kind of thing um, so yeah it was, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't like, you know, my top book to read. It was all right. You know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you got, if you girls and gals know what I'm saying. Um, girls and gals. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying today. Um, so yeah, I mean, try it, try it out, pick it up, see what you guys think. If you guys end up reading it, let me know what you think, uh, down below. If you have already read it, let me know what you think down below. I think it was just pretty much in the middle for me. Uh, I didn't hate it and I didn't love it. It was just one of those eh, books for me. Um, but it does have a lot of sexual explicit content. So if that's what you like, then go go read it. What can I tell you? Um, if you don't, then I'd say don't even bother because this is full of it. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really excited to see what her biography is about because I know that she is a former stripper. So... Um, she talks about her life in that type of world and industry and, you know, how she got out of it and all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually just in interested into seeing what she has to say about that. Anyways, guys, that was my basic review on this novel here. I, I wouldn't even consider it a novel. It's only 90 pages. Um, but go check it out if you are interested in this type of, uh, storyline. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. It is free, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. Mwah.